swear. Hop là. Bonjour Otman. Ça marche Allô Allô, ouais, tu m'entends bien euh, Oui, est-ce que nous allons euh, parler français Je ne parle ouais. tu, tu, Un petit peu J'ai seulement un très petit peu. Euh, English English Le... Let's do it for English. All right. So it, it will be a 10 minute interview. Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you so, very much. What could we expect from you after that impressive KO at Abu Dhabi last year? Uh, yes, what you can. I never give predictions, you know. I always give my best. I gave my best already in the preparation. And uh, only Allah knows what will happen on Saturday. As long as I give my best, I cannot blame myself on, uh, for any re result. I'm happy with everything. Alhamdulillah for everything. And so you have 12 wins. You're undefeated. Nine by chaos. How do you ex explain that? You're working on that? You're expecting the chaos of fight after fight? Or does it come naturally? I already give my best in uh, the training. I prepare for everyone. I take every fight uh, serious. I give always my best. And everything is, else is on Allah. He is the one who helped me always, alhamdulillah, to achieve these uh, victories. And so it will be your very first coming event at your second fight. Does it mean that the UFC is really trusting you to be the next big thing or for you it's just a fight among others? Alhamdulillah, I don't know, but I really appreciate the UFC and appreciate that they gave me the common event. For me, it doesn't make uh, any big difference for me, like personally, if it's uh, the first uh, fight or the common event, I mean, from my feeling. But uh, it uh, it's a kind of bit of more motivation, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it's like UFC put a lot of trust And I appreciate this very much, alhamdulillah. I have to speak about the future a little bit because you're a, a superstar in Morocco. How, how, did that, how did that happen exactly? Because it seems that the UFC could organize a UFC even there just for you and your brother. I hope so. This is like a, a big dream for me if the UFC comes to Morocco. I mean, in Morocco, it's it's very possible to make it in Morocco. We have everything in Morocco. It's a very nice and great country. We already did one big, big event uh, of Brave in Morocco, and it went very well. The people were shocked when they were there. They didn't expect uh, Morocco to be a uh, such nice uh, host alhamdulillah we have everything we have very good venues we have uh, ho very good hotels we have everything what you need for for a uh, for a uh, for for an event in morocco and i hope this is my dream and i hope inshallah that one day morocco uh, ufc will come to morocco yes <clears throat> and uh, Yes, my brother is like uh, my big role model. Uh, my brother Abu is also fighting in the UFC. He is my big role model in uh, in MMA. And he have a big, big community in Morocco. It will be a very nice uh, thing when we get to Morocco. And you're working together yes. with your brother as also is a, a role model for you, but also your trainer, your training partner. How does that work exactly? He is, uh, he is, like I said, my role model and he is my mentor. Uh, I, we train always together. He is always part of uh, any preparation of me and he helps me in all the matters in all cases uh, of the sport. We help each other. We, we train together. We, we, we go the, the same way in the career, alhamdulillah. And for your division, the welterweight division, what do you think about this division at the moment? Because there are also Hamza Shimaev, who's 
booming in that division. Do you have any plan for the future, let's say, in terms of title fights or your ambitions globally? Uh, yeah, it's a very good uh, division. Well, it's uh, the most fighters are in this uh, division of the UFC. So, um, but for me, like I said, I I give all, in everything what I do in my life. I give always my best, and uh, I work like step by step everything, and uh, I'm open for any step or uh, if even when it's a big step i'm open for it i as long as i give my best and work hard for it uh, everything is possible but uh, like yeah i i i don't look too far in the future i know my dreams i know my ambitions uh, i love the sport i practice the sport i train i give my best and that's the most important thing and yes the way is the goal you know what i mean while we go this way we are already living the goal you know and you come always closer to your dreams but i mean i mean you you're chasing the title You wouldn't be fighting if you weren't chasing the title. I mean, I have my eyes on bigger things always. Okay. Always to come forward, to make steps. And uh, I mean, the be the last and the biggest step is the title. And I'm, uh, inshallah, I give my best to, to, to come forward, alhamdulillah. And it's really uh, impressive. And inshallah, yeah. I'm, and inshallah, I'm happy for anything Allah wrote me, you know? Okay. For, for the first interview last September, you were also very respectful with your opponent, but you're also a showman in the cage. How do you keep the balance between the show of the fight and the need basically to, let's say, destroy, to have a good performance against your opponent, but also be really respectful and, and pull the switch between the moment you're really respectful with your opponent and then you basically have to finish it when the fight starts? It's uh, just a sport and uh, no, it, it's it's sport uh, first of all. And all the people who I know who compete and uh, and uh, uh, make MMA, they are all respectful to each other, you know. Uh, there is the part of show and there is the part of fighting and there is the part between the people. I mean, he, my, any opponent of me is just a, a human being and deserves to, to be respected. And every fighter knows how hard everyone f uh, work, you know, and uh, every fighter deserves respect. You know what I mean? And uh, like I said, we are human beings. We have to be respectful with each other. And in the fight, we switch off. Uh, it doesn't mean that I am uh, disrespectful, but we have fight rules. This we have to respect. But uh, the fight is uh, is fight. We have to. Uh, the, there have to there have to be one. Uh, the, we have to find out who is the better one, and uh, we have to go hard for the fight. You know, and after the fight, before the fight, and the, after the fight, we are friends. But when the gong starts, I switch off all everything and go for the work. And I will ask you for a little favor. Could you please? Say a couple of words in French for the French public listening to you. Uh, à tous mes amis, je suis euh, Salut, ça va? Comment allez? Comment? Uh, Qu'est-ce que? Non, <laughs> non, no, just, just mixing the words. Uh, <laughs> Je souhaite que, te, que tout se va bien, Inch'Allah, et merci beaucoup pour euh, la, le, la, là où le support. Euh, merci beaucoup pour le support. Euh, euh, je t'aime. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much, Antoine, and good luck for Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Swear.